Hello everyone, Nazunogami here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pathologic. Where we last left off, we we discovered that uh, Isidore Barak was the last to see Simon alive. We go to find him, and he has been murdered too. Let's see. We go to the person who was in charge of uh, the investigation, uh, Alexander Sabarov, and it's just we go visit uh, Yulia. Yeah, we are in front of her house now. Hello? I'm afraid it's natural. Simon was doomed. Huh. Uh, you look like a strong character. Um... Anyway, I, I seem to have lost any capacity for observation. My mind is out of tune. Things no longer add up. Before, I had no trouble forming a trustworthy tessellation of the most imperceptible contingencies. Now I simply cannot get my head around it. Could it be that I am dying? <laughs> Heck no. Step air is way too thick. I think that's what causes it. Oh no. Herba... Uh, Tivrina is in blossom, I grant you, but then it blooms every year. Every year the steppe is filled with its stupefying vapors. The issue I am having, however, has nothing to do with fatigue or perplexity. It's just that I've lost my ability to make distinctive events coincide. Well, everyone has that ability. You don't seem to understand what I'm saying. Let me elucidate. A single word so on others may precip precipitate the birth of their own murderer. Er, this line of philosophizing is barely an intellectual novelty, and is particularly relevant in our neck of the woods. I sometimes feel like I could not touch the notions of cause and effect with the tips of my fingers. But now I am being tedious, I reckon. Uh, no, I don't think. The most subtle folly grows out of the most subtle wisdom. So you have traveled all the way here, only to find that both people you wanted to see were brutally murdered. Is this how the story goes? I do hope that your visit is not in any way related to these most unfortunate circumstances. <sighs> uh, do you like Eva Yawn? That is so random. Uh, I have to find whoever it is that killed Isidore and Simon. I wanted to ask you for your help. Sabarov told me you have a gift of all manner. For all manner of investigative inquiry. I am certainly no better investigator than you. I never had a chance to search for a murderer before. The best I can offer is to fill in the blanks with whatever mysterious supernatural entity seem most fitting. Shamnak Adir is the simple man's scarecrow. I would have followed a different narrative. Hmm, what kind of narrative? Consider the circumstances of his death. They said Simon had locked himself in the evening and consequently died in the morning inside the mansion, in the chamber with some peculiar name. In this case, I would suggest that Simon was poisoned by the canes. I would have thought, but I know their family all too well. Their mutual loyalty is only rivaled by their arrogance towards anyone who is not one of them. They hold a princely sage who, who stands at the head of their family in highest esteem. They believe that a single dishonorable act will tarnish their name for generations to come. I doubt any of them would have stooped to this, no matter whether they want to or not. Poison? I drew up this conclusion. I don't believe you understand what he died and focus really implies. Do you know what the canes refer to as focus? You don't seem to grasp the semantics of the term. These are the canes for you. These kinds of innuendos are their forte. Forte. They didn't really elaborate what, what, what it was, just like a study of some sort. What is it then? The focus is anything but an abstraction. Quite the opposite, in fact. It is governed by mathematically rigid regularities. You see, no one but the owner of a focus may get inside. This can only mean that Simon had brought the killer with him. Or rather, within him, since no physical object may be brought into focus either. Ugh, how you know that? Who doesn't? The Canes are notoriously passionate about all manner of synthetic anomalies. They will never pass up the opportunity to devise a... A construct that would allow them to warp space, challenge physics, or manipulate optics. Metaphysically, a focus can be compared to a camera obscura. Do know that the name is not unfitting. No, it is entirely impossible for someone to get inside. Hmm. Q 
curious conclusion, but an incorrect one. Simon was disfigured and bleeding. His bones were broken. Is that so? Well, this does introduce a different perspective. Did you say Isidore was the last person to see Simon? The question is, who did he see before? The sun had not yet set when Isidore returned from the steppe. However, he came to Simon well after midnight. The question naturally arises, where did he spend the missing few hours? Hmm. That's why I'm trying to trace Isidore's steps. I want to walk the same route, don't get me wrong though. Was Isidore seen with Sabarov by any chance? Hmm. He was, I don't know. God dang, I don't remember. Or have you even said anything at all? I don't know, but Sabarov interpreted his coming as an omen of upcoming unrest among the workers. Alright, let me suggest then that while he was in the steppe, he saw or learned something that he wanted to report to all three ruling families. In this case, either of the Olgimsky family should have been on his itinerary, especially since Burak was one of their own men. Really? Definitely, the Bull Project, from the abattoir to the railway, is controlled by the Olgimsky family. If Isidore's discovery had anything at all to do with the kin, Isidore would have certainly related to Vlad. So, do make sure to pay a visit to the Lump. That's the name of the old Ginsky Mansion. Another fitting name, wouldn't you agree? Ah, thank you, Yulia. What would I do without you? Ah, uh, looks like we got... Further down south, we gotta travel. I am following in Isidore's wake, certain that the trail of his footsteps would lead me to the Crucible. There is little doubt in my mind that Isidore was well acquainted with each and every family in power. However, but it was old Gimsky that held Isidore's leash, a relationship rooted in unbreakable family familial loyalty. It is with the old Gimskys I must t make my destination next. So, we're really going on a backwards trail. Anything else? I'm afraid. I'm of little use now. Hmm. What do you make of all this? So I have heard. A wise crack I know says that while you're trying to complete the portrait of the killer, the killer is painting yours. Hilarious, is it not? The hunter becomes the hunted. However, to put it bluntly, you have become the keynote of, the, of this particular plot. The intrigue is so rich, it'll keep you busy for a week, if not longer than that. What would you do if you were me? If you want my advice, I wouldn't trust what our feudals tell you. The perpetual triangle of influence means that every party concerned will do their best to use your authority to their own benefit. Oh, I'm not that conceited. Perhaps the people of lower standing would not try to use me. It is more likely that people of such standing will be more will be much too scared to cooperate. Given your position, you may want to try your luck with the shadow cabinet of local nobility, the women of influence. They know much more than the simple townsfolk, yet they care much less than the families in power. Who are these lady aristocrats? Lady aristocrats. Such a way of saying it would be irrelevant strictly within the specific context of values and perceptions characteristic of a backwards hole like ours. The catch is that the aristocracy is not defined by birth right here. Rather, the status is granted by a degree of enig enigmatic fascination that a woman is possessed of. Questionable background. Audacity of demeanor. You know, the whole assortment. And who are they? Lara, Eva, yours truly, and last but not least, Maria. I wouldn't listen to Katarina if I were you. Her morphine habit has turned into a walking corpse. The others, however, are liable to deceive. You don't like being lied to, do you? I can't say I care all that much. I can live with it. Can I get something else? No. Or wait, is this a side quest? Ah. Uh. Well, 
through the door frame. Honestly, I was having a little bit of a hard time following along. But let's see if I can break it down. Let's see. This way. This way. So basically, we're backtracking even further. What's wrong with you? Oh uh, yeah, we don't have any more tradable items. Have to go loop, loop around some more garbage cans. Kids are giving me the best thing so far. But I've already wondered how they could get a hold of uh, ammunition. Ah, uh, so there's more sight. More side questing than anything. I am just really getting turned around here. Ding dong, it is now 10 o'clock. This is the place. Ah, so it's just a map update on these ladies' locations. Can't talk to you. You? It's nice to. They say Ripper was caught. Does he really cut people? Ripper. You are the person that came to Maria Kana in the dream. I recognize you straight away. My name is Laravel, and this is the shelter. You're always welcome here. My name is Daniel, Daniel Dankovsky. Let's be friends now. I prefer being friends with everyone. You always have guests, but your face looks sad. Well, yes, I'm the mistress of this house after all. That doesn't mean I'm a mistress, mind you. Not with a capital M. I won't ever become one. But I can also serve people to the best of my ability. Who are the capital M mistresses in? The mistresses of the town. We call them the dream mistresses. Kaina, Olgimsakaya. Saburova. Now, after Victoria's and Nina's departure, it's their daughters who are trying to see the future. They are far less impressive than their mothers for now, of course. Maria is probably the best. Uh, it's good to see children continuing the life work of their parents. Why are you frowning? I'm just in a melancholic mood. We are way too used to playing the game of tragic predictions. I'm trying to arrange everything back to order. Be happy to help you if I can. There are dark rings under your eyes. I know you're a doctor. A wonderful one at that. A celebrity medic. Everyone in our small town knew that a famous doctor was coming here. I'm very glad you really have, because I want you to do a certain good thing. Can I ask a favor of you? Please do. A few years ago, the child death rate went through the roof here. Six people died in a week. Ten or so came down with serious illnesses. It made us worried. Unfortunately, we couldn't find the cause straight away back then. In the end, it turned out that the children were dying because of a game. What in the world? What kind of a game kills children? Most dangerous game. They were playing, hmm... What do they call it? Well, it was some kind of medical game. They were stealing medicine from the adults and making some diabolical mixture out of it. Then they healed each other with it. Back then, the game just faded into obscurity. But now, I heard they were contemplating doing it again. Someone has already been poisoned. Uh, what can I do? I'm no poisoning specialist. I can do an examination, of course, but... No, no. It's much simpler. This, there is a house somewhere in the town. Either abandoned or unoccupied. That's where they play hospital. That's where they store their horrible mixtures. Please, use your standing and your celebrity name to put an end to this game. Capella, Olgimsky's daughter, believes that the house will be unlocked today. Do my best. Where can I find it? Capella mentioned it's next to one of the ruins. My friend couldn't hear them properly. Have you seen those stone stairways to heaven? I think you might even be able to get see the house you're looking for from Eva Jan's window. But most importantly, it should be unlocked. 
<sighs> Do people around here ever leave their doors unlocked? Except locations or emergencies. Yes, we do. But generally, houses are supposed to be locked up because they're occupied by several families. People aren't that scared of losing their own belongings, but they care about their neighbors. Now that everyone's so afraid of the man-eater, of course everything's locked. Be too hard to find then. So I guess this is side questing. But I know for the game we have to focus on uh Yeah, we have to focus on the main quest. So let's see further down. Trash cans! Relinquish your goods! need to reassign the map button. Somewhere to like a key closer to my left hand. I researched these. I feel like I might have. Two tradable items now. Ammo. No. You. Fall over. One each. kids Why are you so bristled up <laughs> the sweat break from the dog's jaws medicine I think we were good More ammo. Five empty bottles. Speaking of, uh, frame rate. Falling over trash can. I am way off target. I got distracted. Got 
turn around and go up. That's a nice nickname. Has a ring to it, and I'm guessing this is the place. Yep. And that's a creepy picture. The girl is fine, but the boy. <laughs> the boy's unbearable. Uh, Bachelor Dankovsky, of course. Who else could be so dapper? I've heard quite a lot about you. Have you taken a look around? Be sure to check the state of the industry around here. We have our own ways. Curious, what is the current state of your industry? Come now, it's a complicated disaster with a thousand years of history. A special approach is required to control such a colossus. See where I'm getting at, emissary. Be pointless to object. I can see we're not really seeing eye to eye. The project is special. Very special. That means common standards do not apply here. That would be very naive. I'll come back to that. No. I won't believe in some urban killer. Yes, getting everything back on track won't be an easy task. I'd like to inquire. I are about to fade my colleague. What are you implying? What is, what is this manner you're talking about? Be so kind as to mind your own manners. I had nothing to do with it. Don't they say Isidore was murdered by a step demon? A shamnak adieu? There was that thingy. A talon they fished out from the wood. From the moon. Thingy! I can take this from kids and weirdos, but you, a respectable negotiant. It's hard for you to believe, isn't it? It used to be hard for many. Take my boy, for example. A scoffer, if I ever seen one. Now, even he believes it's real. He went off his head a bit. You're in a step now, esteemed stir. Eastern and backwards. The dead rise from their graves here. Clay dummies dance, and bulls talk. Do you know the step well, that son of yours? He rubs elbows with the rabble, the butchers, the odonk, the shepherds, and gathers. Le learns their tongues, collects their legends. He doesn't keep them in check at all. They even dare to come visit him within the premises of the town. If you see a worm creeping through the streets, he's definitely looking for my son. What's wrong with them visiting him within the premises of the town? They're dangerous, they're aggressive, and they hate everyone who isn't a step person. They'll jump you and kill you on the spot. They'll tear you up with their teeth and devour your flesh while you're still throwing fists at him. So if they're spy within the town, countermeasures are taken. So what of your son? As you can tell me more about this creature, hold your horses. You want to talk to my blockhead? No. You have nothing to talk about. He's not here, thankfully. I don't want you two to meet. You hear me? They're tradesmen's words, and I'll stick to them. I won't leave it at that. What now? Cunning lot, aren't they? The older old Gimsky does his best to avoid any mention of his household. When I asked him what his son was doing, the Honorable Stockbreeder momentarily lost his temper. Think that the son knows just as much as the father, and it'll be easier to get him talking. But where can I find him? What? His door came by to see you last night. Don't try to deny it. So what if he did? Hmm. ask or uh, or do I or do I put on a bluff mm. he's a very evasive man I feel I'm gonna play bold here I am also aware of what you two have been talking about all I want to know is why he left to see Simon afterwards oh 
Oh my, oh my, pray forgive me. So he wanted to bring me to heal that traitor, that bastard. Well, what he asked for was for me to stop the factory. How could I not kick you out? Aha, it looks like it worked. What did he tell you? Who else could he have spoken to? Perhaps someone who could take measures of what kind? Huh? That, my dear, respectable friend, is none of your business. My property, like I said, is in order. See the skin and meat delivery reports. Do you know how hard? No way! It's my domain, whether anyone riots or not, and I'll have my way with him. I'll find everything out eventually. No. I won't believe you. How do you think Simon died? I don't think he was murdered. How could he who created monocracy not perish? He couldn't. Not in this place. Balance requires equilibrium. So what you're saying is Simon's death worked in favor of the local hotshots, huh? Come now, what I'm saying is, when someone takes too much upon themselves, they always end up ground down. That's how life works. Yet they say Simon was the one to bend the circumstances, not the other way around. No one seems to doubt that. Simon has lived a very long life. Very long. He was a worthy man. But long doesn't mean eternal, does it? No one's to blame for his death. Examine the body and you'll see for yourself. It just happened. Cain won't let me examine the body. Well, that is temporary. A family tradition. He's not lying to you. He truly believes Simon was murdered. Were he to admit that Simon simply died of death, he'd probably go to his last home himself. The shock would be too much for the man. Died of death? Ugh. That is so redundant. That's strange. Georgie Kane didn't appear sentimental to me. That it? What? Yeah, that's it. Is there anyone else in the house? No. Well then, now what? Hmm, so... in Capella, but I didn't see a Capella in there. Unless they have a second floor. That you're hiding from me? No, for such a big place, there's really not much to it. Let's see. Ding dong. It is now 11 o'clock. How are my stats? Mm. Okay. So he has a son. But... I don't know where to find him. Oh, and this is our side quest. Guess 
I should go. Maybe I should go back and talk to Eva. That was like one of the women uh, Yulia mentioned. But then again, there's also like the stairway for the side quest. If it's from my window, it may be over here. If it's near one of those creepy staircases. They did say, uh, they leave the houses unlocked. So it should be an unlocked house. door here and you can't even click on it. Ah, this must be the one. Kid! Huh. <sighs> dog head. Yup, you certainly have a dog head. Investigating. Investigating the murder. Looking for something. Doesn't sound too forgiving. Kids are in danger. Schmouders. Capella. So someone took their stash of mix and match medicines. they produced in the first place. Polyhedron. That odd structure next to the crucible. as in powders. 
Powder Schmouders. <laughs> I don't know exactly these pharmaceutical products are producing the things. Here, a bone necklace. Hopefully, I can trade that. Ooh, goodies. There are doors here, but you can't use them. It bugs me. Hmm. Should we go back to Ava's then? I don't know where else to go. Do some more tradings. You have nothing. He looked distinguished. again. It is now noon. I had a feeling you would come. Found out more about our morning visitors. They turned out to be runaways. Can you imagine? You have to run away from a jail, bedlam, zoo. The Ilgimskis have closed the termitary again, and those who have managed to escape from there are now being hunted. Capella told me all about this. Some have, been, have run away and some went to hiding somewhere in the town, and Capella is worried. She worried about Capella and Vlad the Younger are pulls apart. Vlad's primary concern is in the interest of the family. So the sister is worried that the brother will kill the runaway. She'd rather have him survive than I escape into the steppe. Or could they be hiding? In a hospice in Earth. Well, hospice is just a name, really. What, are you planning to visit the place? Then help them escape into the steppe before Vlad sends mercenaries out of them. That would be a good deed. We've had enough murders, haven't we? I'd rather speak to Vlad the Younger. Need to find him for other reasons anyways. No! Oh, he'll probably try to hire you to do the killing. That is no good. He is so rich and clever. He'll think of something to persuade you. Send him to the step. That'll be better. Warn him about the danger. I'll tell you how to find Vlad if you do that. As you wish. Ah, all the way on the other side of town. Stats again. Hmm. Maybe best if I rest a little bit. 
first. I want to take an immunity bo booster. And sleep. Let's sleep. Or, uh... Let's sleep with an hour to start with. It is now one o'clock. We have to go all the way to the other side of town. Well, let's go. So, participating in the side quest may actually help with my main quest. It's actually nice. go further along south. Haven't been around that part yet. I don't even know what gun I'm gonna get first. I mean, if I had to guess, probably a, a revolver. Easier to handle. What is this thing? Pyre. I guess the immunity boost was only temporary. house is this? Hello? Where did those lazy bastards go? Ah, uh, you're Vlad the Younger! You found me here? Well, I'm not surprised, but you're not too surprised by that. Everyone knows about you either. Your right will spread like fire. Why have you come? Sightseeing. There was a peculiar incident yesterday by the spleen. The children were playing in the mud, as usual. But then suddenly, they ran away from the sandbox, and the parents noticed that their hands were smothered in blood. However, none of them were wounded. Neither any of them surprised. Huh. Clay. I think they were digging at clay. When the worried adults came to place, the children were being playing. They found nothing unusual there, only sticks and stones. What do you make of it? Your children play peculiar games. Nice to meet a person of a skeptical mind. I am Vladislav Volgimsky, the younger one, of course. And you are, of course, Daniel Dunkovsky. Nice to meet you. We promise according to our hopes. We perform according to our fears. See how it all turns out. I used to keep this place secret, but all these secrets seem so childish now. <sighs> Isidore visit you last night. The truth. Yes, Isidore did pay me a visit, but don't ask what we talked about. I have no right to share that with you. <sighs> right, I'm going to ask you one more question now. Your answer will determine whether you and I become friends or enemies. Well then, I'd rather be your friend. Go ahead. What did you talk about? Isidore said... No, that I'm merely retelling it secondhand. He said there's an epidemic in the step camps. An outbreak of tarbagan sickness, perhaps. The plague, that is. Father. Father issued an order to lock up the terminatory area up in order to prevent the infection from getting in. And 
Why are you so afraid of it? You concealed it. I don't understand. You did the right thing. There is an underlying sensitive family matter here. To cut a long story short, my father would kill me if he found out about this conversation. The unrest in the termitary, you see. Well, I incited it to make father lock it up. He didn't believe Isidore. Hmm. Ah, uh, so, thinking a sickness is coming out. And you locked up the termitary to prevent its spread. What do you think? Ink was the cause of Simon Kane's death, especially taking into account the fact that Isidore Barak has been the last visitor. We need to warn Reuben. It's very urgent. He's about to examine Simon as soon as the period of time required by the Kane passes. Where he is, I have no idea. Where is he staying? I don't know. There was a secret dissecting room in one of the warehouses, but no one knows where exactly. He used to live mostly in the steppe, sometimes sleeping in the Termentary or at Lara Ravel's shelter, but he's not there. I know that for sure. He went away to mourn his master. What would you have done if you were him? Hmm. Well, if there's only like a certain period of time. Will we wait or we go check every warehouse? I want to check every warehouse! Anything else? Katarina thinks Clara is a messenger from heaven. <laughs> yeah, right. Clara, that's our other player character. What do you think about Simon's death? Um, it is known that Simon has limited his social activity just before his departure. He only received two visitors. I know nothing of the first, but the second was none other than Isidore Barak. The fact that he was killed the same night makes you think, doesn't it? Killer took out a witness or an accomplice. Isidore was a complicated man. Have I told you about his position in the kin? He used to be a very well respected person there, and I can't say everyone liked it. Hmm. Hmm. What do you mean? Isidore wasn't a doctor. He was more of an herbalist. He never studied medicine. All his recipes were about plants and roots, so to speak. He was knowledgeable, true. A sorcerer, if you will. But a very different one from Simon, an earthen sorcerer. I've never even heard that Simon used to be a sorcerer before. He's a sorcerer? Simon was a thurgist. Isidore was a witch doctor. And you think Isidore the witch doctor has managed to achieve the unachievable? A possible theory, but rather questionable. The investigation of the double murder has introduced a few additional considerations. It is highly possible that Simon died to some unfamiliar disease. Stock Ruben, the town medic, should be warned at once. If he touches the body, he may contact whatever disease reigns, remains there. Ah, uh, this was the... the locked house. Well, let's try stopping at his place. I mean... It's a little bit too obvious, but... We need a lead of some sort. I am, well, most likely going the wrong way. But look, trash cans. Unless it's on the way to our other goal. Hmm. So Simon might have died of disease. And Isidore, well, it's gotta be murder. Disease. 
Nazis and the murder. Now, which one of these places is it? Go with the one in the very back. Oh yeah, and of course there's fences. They seem to be my most dangerous enemy right now. The fences! No one here. Any clues? Well, damn. Thinking. Like check every warehouse. Another one we can check out. Bad Grief's lair. Doesn't sound nice. I got nowhere else to try and go to. A fool's tongue is long enough to cut his own throat. A wooden neck is tough to bend. Welcome, welcome to your guests. Give the man something to drink. Let him grab a bite. Sit down, sit him down comfortably. Show our big city guests some respect. And don't let him out until I say otherwise. Enough. Wanna play cards? Dice? The stinks ain't big city, but the game's pretty granny. Uh, no. Since you just met Doc, you go in peace. For the first and last time. But next time, your exit will cost extra. Now, keep that in mind. Many a one says ill that sleeps well. Got any good stuff? The hell are you talking about? You're a sawbones, right? Yep, a sawbones. You can go anywhere you like. All them doors are open for you. Wish my thieves could do that. Well, something nice turns out. Waste no time to drag it over your good self at you a good price, it will. Well, what do you have? You watch it, mate. I'm trusting you here. Probably going around drinking coffee with them big potatoes day and night. You ain't got the rats out. That's a lot now, are you? The stuff I'm selling good and bad. Not enemy to myself. That is way too much. I don't have enough money. Right, so, like, illegal goods seller. I don't think it was worth it. Let's just move on and out. Load. Thank you. Everyone is starting to look alike here. 
Or he's just limited models. Another store here. Trash can. Sorry, I just gotta get that first. Being so sidetracked. Food. I could do with some food. Not yet. <laughs> May have to stop soon. I just want to get to my destination first. <laughs> Look like that could be it. Downstairs. Where's the upstairs? Uh, right there. But first, trash can. This is the spot. Hunger is starting to get there. Let's eat our lemon and smoked meat. Okay, may need two smoked meats. Right. Anyway, good place to stop. Huh. So we get involved in a side quest. And then we also bring up the possibility that Simon died to disease. We got no leads on where to find the the guy we're looking for who ha who's looking at his body only have a lead to the side quest and who knows maybe I'll bounce back to the main quest or maybe I'll find something on accident but um, until next time this is Nazo signing off <laughs>